Alright, so those of you who have been following my channel know that a couple videos ago there was an episode where we took some rock wool cubes, soaked them in water with uh, different pH values, and then put seeds in them to see if uh, the varying pH had any effect on the seed germination. So it's been about a week uh, since I'm making this video now, and I'm ready to show you guys the results of the experiment and I think you might be surprised. For the past seven days these jalapeno seeds have been germinating in a plastic grow tray with a dome on it. Uh, they've been covered and sitting on top of this heat tape to keep them warm and keep them at a good uh, temperature for germination. So I'm ready to take this cover off and to see what kind of results we have. So I'm actually really surprised to see here that everything has germinated. Uh, you might argue that some have germinated better than others. If you look at the 5.3s, uh, they look a lot better uh, than the tap water or the 6.3. This is a pretty small scale experiment and obviously it could have been done a little bit better, but I mean everything has germinated, everything is growing. So the 5.3 rainwater definitely looks a little bit ahead of everything else. Uh, the sprouts are quite a bit taller. The um, 6.3 rainwater, some, one of them is doing pretty good. There's a couple that are still coming up there and even the tap water is, I mean they sprouted in tap water and they're a little bit behind the other guys too. So whether or not um, the 5.3 rainwater was actually better or that's just the way they sprouted. It looks like that they preferred the uh, 5.3 rainwater to anything else. Still everything did sprout so if you didn't uh, treat your water before soaking your cubes I'm pretty sure they would still sprout given that you put them in the ideal environment that they prefer to sprout. So now that these guys have sprouted uh, I'm probably going to expose them to light. You might notice they're a little bit yellow right now and that's because they've been in the dark this whole time. So once we get them into the flood table, uh, under those lights they should green up a bit. I will however probably still keep them in the tray in the dome. Um, maybe I'll put a few holes in the dome roof just so that uh, they can get some fresh air as well. Uh, once it looks like they have started to root on the bottom, uh, I'll take them out of the tray and put them in the hydrogen. Alright, so I'm going to leave those in there for a bit and see what happens. Uh, if you wanted to take a closer look at uh, the results, uh, here we have the 6.3 in rainwater. Here we have the 5.3 pH in rainwater as well. And finally, this was, I think, around 6.5 pH uh, tap water, chlorinated. And that's about it. If you guys have any comments on the experiment we did here, please let me know. And I will be posting another video, hopefully next week, and we will take a look at how the seedlings and the sprouts are doing at that time. Okay? Thanks.